I know it's hard to hear, but David found someone, and so should you. There is a room full of guys here. And you're a catch. You're an educated, diabetes-free woman in Lanford. <laughs> There's only two of us. The show is always balanced talking about politics, class, uh, gender issues, with being still a very funny sitcom. With the 2020 election coming up, how are the Connors going to handle the country's current political divide? The writers won't be able to stay away from it because they like to write about all sorts of issues with this family and the family can handle it. I hope that the um, candidates are watching our show because I think what our show is depicting is um, a working class that really it can be very stuck um, socioeconomically. And these people in our country are not victims, they're not powerless, but their voices need to be heard. And um, I feel like, you know, I want one politician at least to pay attention to that demographic that we're representing. Not sure what's going on here, but I love it. Sharknade O'Connor. I need, I need more than that. Sinead O'Connor and Sharknado. Oh, well, the important thing is you had fun. I've long loved uh, Estelle Parsons as Beverly Harris on the show. She's such an incredible talent and has had such a storied career. I'm wondering, uh, over the years of working with her, what you've learned from her. I think Lori and I are her biggest fans. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. The three of us have a strong uh, theater background. And so the first thing that I always ask Estelle when she comes in to do a show is, what are you working on now? Because I know she'll be busy in the theater back in New York. And um, I want to be at 90... 92 or 93, something like that. Uh, to be as... Um, as uh, energized by working as Estelle is. I hope that since she's doing a number of uh, episodes that uh, um, Beverly and Jackie have quite the relationship that she and I will get to be able to tear it up in the room a little bit. What I love about Estelle is that I, it really doesn't seem like there's any kind of age difference. Like I just view her as a very good friend of mine and you know, I live in New York, so, you know, Estelle is a quintessential New Yorker. She really doesn't love being in L.A., so um, <laughs> she always complains about being here. I think everyone wants to be Estelle. I mean, it's a, every, a known fact. Everyone wants to be Estelle when they grow up, but um, it, it's frightening to me thinking of doing this for that long, <laughs> you know? But she's just such a powerhouse and a force um, that... She is definitely inspirational. I gotta warn you, we only serve Chinese food. Got it. Um, so, uh, you shouldn't be drinking on the job, right? No, I should be. China, other side of the earth, it's all opposite.